Hi everyone, it's Maya here. I'm here to share a layout that I made with the Sunny Days collection from Great Paper. And I'm making this fringe heart layout. Uh, for the basis of the hearts, I'm cutting from plain white cardstock some hearts and then I'm going to be embellishing them into fringe hearts. In total I'll be needing nine hearts so I cut them and now I'm going over to roughly placing them on the layout so that I can see that the idea actually works out that I had in mind. Then it's time to make the fringes so I already cut out these three by one inch pieces of cardstock I used the plain different color cardstock and then also pattern papers from the Sunny Days collection and uh, then I'll be using these fringe scissors. I actually bought them at a kitchenware part of the store. So these are also called herb scissors that you can cut different kinds of fresh herbs with them. <laughs> but I'll be using them here in my craft room, cutting them not all the way to the edge and then just flattening them down before adhering them onto the heart. I ended up changing the yellow into the pink one so that it's not only soft tones on that one and then it's time to adhere. So I'm putting adhesive on the other side of the paper and uh, adhering them onto the cardstock. And once all the pieces are adhered, I'm turning the heart backwards and then just cutting along the edges of the heart. Some of these little fringe pieces might fall out, as you can see once I'm turning it back facing front. But then I'll just go back with the glue pen and adhere the little tiny pieces that might have fell off from the edges while cutting. Now it's just seven more pieces to go and I started this by making up the compositions for each heart going through the papers and finding out the perfect matches from the papers.
parts, it's time to assemble them onto the page and I'll be light, slightly adhering them onto the cardstock so that it's easier for me to place them around and then if needed it's also easier for me to move them so that they are not really stuck on the cardstock. to put the photo down. I'll be using this photo of my daughter from back in the day before COVID-19 when we were able to travel we went to Ras Al Khaimah last winter and this is the photo of her at the beach. Perfect match for the sunny days collection and I packed it up with one of the pattern papers the gorgeous floral one and then again moving the hearts around just a little bit to make it a little tighter square there. And then it's time to embellish. I'm using embellishments from both the Sunny Days collection and then some from the Oasis collection by Great Paper also. Uh, the ones that I'm cutting off camera is the gold foil die cut that you can cut apart. So I'm using some of them to add nice gold touches onto the layout. And then just going through bits and pieces and finding different things to put on close to the photo. I tried a few things here and there around the page but I decided that it's the best to focus on one si side or one part of the layout and let the hearts do their work on the other parts of the layout.
then it's time for finishing touches. I'm using these enamel dots that are by Chimel and then just adhering them to a few places and and the layout is done. I really love how summery this turned out. Perfect match for the photo as I said and a gorgeous memorabilia. I hope you liked it and thank you so much for coming by. 